All right, everybody. In today's video, we'll actually make some progress in the current round, round two of season two championship in the form of uh, Porsche Taycan Turbo S Limited Series. Uh, I've already posted a series overview covering the upgrade cost, different upgrade strategies you may take depending on your ultimate goal uh, and how much they're going to cost you and the type of events you can expect in the series. So I'll have the link to that video in the description box below. But for this video, um, I mean, I already own this car. So really, I'm in no rush to go through this one. But because uh, there is a 24 hours of instant service offer, I am more inclined to, you know, check into these things while I can take advantage of those type of offers. So, all right. Porsche Taycan Turbo S Limited Series. Yep. You know what we're into. So, here we go. Let's, uh, I guess we'll just start from the beginning. It's 24-hour instant service, so we'll just start with the first one. Uh, speed snap at Hockenheim Short. My car is fully upgraded. But obviously, you don't need to fully upgrade in order to uh, win this car. So I have uh, already, as I said, I, if you're interested in finding out what will cost to actually complete this limited series, you can check in the description box of this video below. I'll have all that specs listed. Or you can um, look over to the you know, the overview video that I posted that I mentioned earlier, which you can also find in the, the link to that video in the description box below. Anyway, a slippery. All right. Easy first challenge. All right. Pick up a few racing dollars and some fame points for the effort. And then we'll continue on. To the next event. Yep, so instant service offer is triggered upon winning first trophy. Doesn't matter which color. In this, in my case, obviously I won gold which is preferable, right? Anyway, moving on to endurance. And yes, if your car is not fully upgraded, you will be offered uh, instant upgrade offer on racing dollar upgrades as well. All right, 5.6 kilometers is my target for this uh, endurance race here in Belgium. Right, checking out that uh, that's one of the official colors, uh, green here, and uh, while we're at it, sure, we'll check out some different racing views, get up close and personal behind our opponent's rear end <laughs> in this. Uh, that uh, doesn't quite have enough grip to get through or rouge flat out, not in this car. But uh, look at that, we actually have a uh, drafting enabled in this limited series. Um, that is very uh, intriguing in multiple aspects because uh, normally they reserve that for... I mean, obviously the first instance that we've ever seen that feature was in NASCAR. And since then, they've sort of expanded with the, the motorsports section, although it's not extended to all motorsports races. I know, it's kind of weird. And in some exclusive series, we see that happening, uh, even when it's just a road car, right? I believe, uh, like, Bugatti Devo, for example, in the exclusive series, uh, there is a draft feature. But, uh, yeah... Interesting, huh? All right, let's hop inside where we don't have to put up with as much of that uh, electric motor engine noise. 
just a little less. <laughs> anyway, we should be coming near the end of this uh, little stint. And uh, I suppose I could go just flat out and see how far I can go, but uh, that's okay. We'll just give it the bare minimum. 5.6 is what they asked for, so we'll give them 5.6 exact. And then let's uh, make some distance backwards, shall we? And of course, because it's electric car, reverse is just as fast. Right? So if you really wanted to, you could race the entire race backwards. Although, in uh, endurance race, if you go in reverse, the distance, you don't get the, the traveling that you do does not count towards your distance. So you have to make sure you travel forward. And for the same matter, if you turn around and move forward, going in reverse direction, then your distance will actually go into negative numbers. So you want to make sure that uh, <laughs> you're aware of that. All right. That's two down, 43 more to go. Let's continue on. We got Cup at Catalunya Club Circuit. It's going to be a short three laps. Catal Did I say Catalunya? I mean. Cota, Circuit of the Americas. About the same length. Still very short. Three laps this one's gonna be. Just a different continent. <laughs> All right. And here we go. I'll go on the outside, go around these. And yeah, drafting's kind of fun, isn't it? Small little uh, extra, but uh, extra it is. It does, I and mean, it's it does make the. I think these races are a lot more entertaining. Is that extra variable? At least for me, I think it makes a big difference. It just makes everything more uh, interesting. Early braking for the first corner. Well, actually, early braking for just about every corner in this little club circuit. Especially on this car. So make sure you break early enough for the corner number two. Number th corner number three, four, and five. There are really only five corners in this. I guess you can call that six. So six corners on. Okay, so here's this corner number one. Which leads us into the fastest sector in both club circuit here and the Grand Prix circuit. Of course, it extends further down for Grand Prix. Corner two, which is the tricky one in my opinion. Corner three, yeah. Corner four, and we are at the tail end of the grid about to lap everybody here but uh, we'll be we'll be courteous and make sure they don't feel so bad I'll just pretend I'm at I'm behind them <laughs> all right a couple of minutes for that effort there And thousand fame points. All right. It's 
suppose it's a pretty short event, so short race. 42 second lap and takes out maybe three, three and a half service bars or so. Alright, so that does it for the tier 1, unlocks tier 2, adds some 4,000 racing dollars for the effort. Alright, so tier 1 done, 14 more to go, so stay tuned for tier 2 playthrough coming right up. See you there.